Brian and Steve, first of all, a fabulous occasion today. I'll start with you, Steve. You must have loved being back here at, at the club and in just taking it all in. Yeah, very much. I haven't been here, I must admit, for probably a couple of years. And to come back and see so many familiar faces and just to be in this environment again. Uh, the crowd were fabulous. I looked in the dressing room before and at some of the players and I thought, well, they might have 10, 15 minutes, but they rose to the occasion as well and it inspired them. And you could still see so many good players on display from both teams. It was a real good day for everyone, I hope. One of the familiar people is Brian, of course, you know, works alongside him. Brian, you must have loved being back as well. Oh, you know what? I was, do you know what I was surprised about? The quality. The quality yeah. of the game was terrific. And the fans brought the got involved in the game. I mean, the first strike, James Henry, what a finish, Doyle a finish. You know, some of the goals today were fab. And do you know what, it's all about good people. I mean, I, like Steve said, he walks into that dressing room, he knows he's got a load of good people there. I walk into my dressing room and straight away, it was like going back 10 years. Proper good people, I had a lovely, lovely day today. Not many people get the better of uh, a Steve Coppel team, do they? You've got it today, you've got bragging rights. Uh, there's no bragging rights out there today. That's just about, Real good people who all played for Reading were both who were very very successful people. You know that's nothing to do with the result. It's, it's just not not important. What's important is the occasion, and I just thought it was just a fab occasion. Tell us about Steve's team. <laughs> well, listen, I know Steve's team. Everyone knows Steve's team. You know Steve's team is the best team the championship has ever seen, and that record of 106 points. It might go one day, but it's going to take some doing. I can't see it really, but. Uh, you know, just a fabulous, fabulous team and a fabulous bunch of guys. And so obviously what Brian's team did, especially the second half of that season where they just went on a roll, like a steamroll the rest of the opposition, amazing, wasn't it? Yeah, it, well, the team reflects the manager, you know, the personality of the manager. The manager wouldn't give up and the team showed, you know, some fabulous, strong, committed football and they got what they deserved, obviously a promotion. And it was great for this club and it's sorry, Really, today, speaking to a lot of people, that uh, you know, they're talking more about the past rather than looking forward to the future. I hope that changes because it's a lovely club. It's a, as Bryce says, some terrific people work here be, behind the scenes, and I hope next year they have something more to cheer about rather than escaping relegation. See, so talking about the fans will always look back in the past with fond memories, and they what a great turnout today it was. I mean, Brian. That was a great turnout, but Steve's right, you know. I mean, I look at what's going on now, Mark's come in, and I think that's good. And I think, you know, uh, Brian Carey's come in, head of recruitment, I know him really well. And I just think, I just get a sense that things are going to start looking, going in the right direction now. And uh, you just got to get the fans back, get them back, and really communicate with the supporters. And there's some good and bad stuff, you've got to tell them what's, what's going on. And, I get a good feeling about what's going to happen this summer. Listen, it's going to be a tough season. There's no doubt about that with the money side of it. But listen, I, I could see a lot of success coming this way. Football's a roller coaster. We've had some massive highs. We've had some not some leaner times, if you like. And as you said there, you know, hopefully we can be on the back in the right track. So. Yeah, no, and that's what everybody wants because it's a great club. It's got a great base. You know, I remember when Steve came and we talked about history. There wasn't a lot of history. Now we've got some history at this football club. Now, you know. Steve's team in the Premier League and eighth in the Premier League and you know our team that get promoted. We've got some history and now we need to build on that. 